Okay, back in the dome. Getting closer to the top of that beefy arch. Uh, not gonna do much today. It's supposed to thunderstorm and it'll just be a big pain in the ass. So why am I building this dome? So this dome, it's on my roof. And I call it the barnacle because let's be honest, it's kind of like a barnacle on a ship. It's not really its own entity, but I'm going to use it. I'm using it just as a trial and error thing. Um, more experience of building with air creep and stuff like that. And that's, I'm, I'm learning a lot. There's a lot of little things you learn as you go. Um, but really the main thing is to do experiments when, when it's done to do like experiments in uh, autonomous living because I think that's the most probably a really important thing going forward for uh, humans for the parallel society away from the bullshit I'll, I'll just call it the mainstream some people say the dominant system I'll just say it the mainstream society uh, which is basically a big corporatist disaster downward flush big downward flush that we were all born into there you go son there you are right into the downward maelstrom figure it out before it takes you all the way to the bottom you know that's basically what it what it is but so yeah I mean the, the important thing here is like going forward is thinking in terms of autonomy personal autonomy you know not being dependent on centralized uh, anything centralized utilities centralized government def we want to get away from that and the powers that be want to like make it even more centralized they want to have a basically a world communist style government that's what a lot of people don't understand where i am um but anyway so yeah like experiments inside this little dome it's tiny so you know it'll be an experiment like you know what can i li like minimally live with and be okay with that'll be one thing uh, another thing will be systems like i ordered this um i mean i, I put together a off the grid solar battery power system in, for the building the main building and i, I bought this other one that's uh it's an all-in-one I think the company is called Titan um, and a lot of good reviews you can probably find videos on YouTube and everything people showing how it works and basically it's just a charge controller an inverter all-in-one pretty powerful you can you can you know step it up if you want to make a bigger system but I ordered one of those you just put you just it's like a plug-and-play thing you know it's about time we have things like that so I'm gonna try to experiment with that and see what I can do and can't do keeping this thing warm in the winter you know cooler in the summer a few ideas about how, how to do that and also just you know integrating it into the rooftop garden I have uh, around me which I'm upgrading but that, the main thing here is that, that I want to say is uh, just think about things like that like autonomous things going forward living without the grid if it goes down which it, it it's a pretty good possibility that's hap that's going to happen or it's going to be like some kind of internet takedown or something i don't know they're, they're up to they're up to something the world economic forum decks whatever <laughs> so anyway but also just <clears throat> autonomously how to take care of your health you know you know just stay with nature um as best as you can err on the side of nature basically um speaking of that i'm reading a really good book by which i finally got around to getting and reading by g edward griffin and i got him to sign it at the red pill expo which is cool called world without cancer and it has to do with vitamin b17 and the trophoblast theory of cancer that really cancer comes from a lack of vitamins and minerals in your system more than anything um, I'll talk about that in another video but it's it's excellent it's really excellent uh, excellent book um, and I, I bought some uh, apricot seeds which is where you can find uh, a lot of b17 is in the seeds so 
Um, maybe I'll put a link somewhere down here about that. And anyway, so yeah, autonomy. That's that's literally the only way forward no matter what happens. I mean, that's the way it's got to be. And so I guess this little dome that I'm doing is kind of a symbol of that. And uh, especially the geodesic, the Buckminster Fuller thing, it was all about autonomous homes and things like that among other things uh, but yeah that's it hope you're doing well uh, I'll, I'll post something later